Okay. Mr. Ted, a.k.a. 88 Rat 88, I guess that's what you want me to call you. Uh, okay. Your call. Anyways, the first thing, uh, I'm having some technical difficulties, so I tried to post a video on my phone. It may upload, so this may be a repetition of some of that. If it is, just ignore either this or that. Uh, but I... I don't know, I'm having some sort of weird issue. I tried to upload the video yesterday on my phone, it didn't work. Um, so I'm redoing some of what I said. The first thing that you need to know, okay, these, these are beginner's videos. You know, you said that they're kind of rudimentary. They're, they're, they're not, in, they're more like doodles, okay? The first video that you listened to was... Uh, one of the first videos that I ever made. Uh, this is I'm sort of experimenting. I'm doing this in a couple of different YouTube outlets, and I'm sort of experimenting with the th in the way that I throw these ideas out there. The video that you responded to, I didn't wasn't even necessarily going to post that. Um, it's not something that I wrote in stone, and this is like this is my ultimate say on the matter. It was more just kind of like a doodle that I threw online. It was just like, well, let's just see how this lands. Um, I mean, you're free to respond to them as you want. I just want you to keep that in mind as you're listening to these videos. There will be a time, and if there was, if I had some way to separate between this is like, you know, a more official version of what I'm trying to say, and this is kind of just me, you know, expounding, trying to go into a topic. The topic at hand, I'm going to go into in a lot more depth, and that is, you know, are you the non-believer complicit in your not knowing? Now, keep in mind, this is the important part, you yourself are very, very different than your peers. Like I've told you in the past, okay, you are the exact type of person I started doing these videos for. Now, what do I mean by that? You, on some level, okay, you're, you quarrel with me and that's fine, but on some level you are an honest seeker of the truth. The first thing you do that's different is you listen to my videos. Okay, most of your peers don't really listen to the video. They'll debate me, and they'll say they listen to the video, and they'll debate me on things other than what was said in the video. And they won't even really argue with what I'm actually saying or doing. If you look at my Twitter feed, most of the people are completely dishonest. You're in a completely different camp. You're about in the 10% the of someone who's honestly seeking the truth. Now, the, the, the subject that I covered doesn't really relate to you. What I've said in the past to you, I will say again. Because you are honestly seeking the truth on some level. You can be dishonest. But not so dishonest that we can't even get anywhere. I will literally prove to you, to your satisfaction, God's existence. Promise you. How can you be so sure? Because I'm telling you the truth. The God's honest truth. And if you keep listening to my videos, honestly, you will come to know that I am telling you the truth. I will prove it to you at one point or another to your intellectual and emotional satisfaction. I promise you, if you keep listening to the videos. How can I be so sure? Because on some level you are honest. Okay? Your peers are not. They are not really listening to the stuff I'm saying. They are debating, they're debating things that I'm not even getting to. I'm not even saying. You at least listen to the actual video and you, you spin a little... Like with the murder thing, we'll get to that. You know, you can be dishonest, but not on purpose. You know, you're not intentionally being dishonest. You have already done what I've told that video, instructed peep, the atheist in that video to do. You've already humbled your heart to some degree. Enough so that God can do the rest. You've already met God halfway. In other words, it's like this. You and I agree on one thing. God has not revealed himself to you. We both agree on that, okay? I say he exists, you say he doesn't exist. You say the burden of proof is now with me. That's fine. I accept that. But you have a responsibility too, as the non-believer. You have a responsibility now to listen to my video and give it an honest listen to. That's humbling your heart enough for, that's meeting God halfway. Okay? That's humbling your heart enough for me to do the rest of the work, for you to then say the burden of proof is on me. Most of your friends don't do that. If you look at my Twitter feed, they'll debate me on things that I haven't even said. They'll bring up, you know, 
evolution, they'll start arguing as if I'm saying evolution is fake. Like, like I'm one of these creationists. And I never said any of that stuff. I don't go there. And they'll start going like, you know, evolution. And I once got really mad at a guy for this. Okay, you don't do that. You listen honestly to what I'm saying. Now, you spin, but I don't think you're doing it on purpose. Okay, I'm going to stop here and I will make a second video, but I have to make sure that these actually download because I'm having difficulties.